Okay, so what I have here are <laughs> two different kinds of fondant. Um, I have some really hot pink um, satin ice, which um, was just too bright. I just didn't want my um, cake this bright pink. So, um, and this is, you know how lavender fades really bad. This is actually Fondex, and even though it's supposed to be purple, it's, it fades so bad, it's, it's more like blue. And so I'm like, well, you know what I can do? I can mix blue and red, and you get purple, but in this case, pink and kind of bluish purple. And this is the color I get, which I absolutely love. So if you mix equal parts of these two together, you will get this really beautiful lavender. And I'm hoping that it won't fade since it's already blue. And pink does fade, but takes longer to fade. I'm hoping that this will last longer than normal lavender fades. Um, so we'll see what it looks like by the end of, the, the end of this video. <laughs> But um, you just mix equal parts together and you get this gorgeous color. So that's what we're doing. Seem to have a little sticky issue here. All right. And it's nice because you can adjust it. If you want it more, you know, pinky, pinky, lighter color, add, you know, more pink. If you want deeper, add the, add the blue. So not so bright, add more blue. So, but it's um, definitely a very pretty color. I really liked it when it came out. And since we're only covering an eight inch cake, this should be enough, I hope. We'll just mix the two together. Mm, yeah, this should be enough. Be more than enough. Obviously, you can just buy purple, but you know, I've noticed that when I get lavender, if not only does it fade really fast, but it, um, it's, it's really inconsistent. And this one faded right through, the, right through the box. When I opened it up, it was already faded. So this was a good solution. It's either that or add color, and that doesn't always work. And it's a lot harder. Okay, so I think we're ready to carve our cake. Let me put this in its little baggie so it doesn't drive out. And what I have is eight inch ground that's been in the freezer for about a half hour or an hour. Let me grab it. It's not really frozen. It's better if it's frozen. So it's just, and it's just, um, they're just like one, a little over one inch. They're like, they're supposed to be two inch pieces, but what I'm going to end up with is approximately three inches high is what I'm gonna end up with. And it's a small pillow, because it's a little tiny shoe. Obviously, if you use the really big shoe mold, um, the big shoe mold, you would want a bigger cake. By the way, that big shoe mold, you can get it, I, I'm pretty sure Country Kitchen has it. I know Jennifer Dons has it. So there's a couple places you can get it if you need, if you wanna do that big guy. Okay. I'm going to get a little bit of buttercream to stick the two of these together. 